Honorable Adam Barre Duwale, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Environment, Climate Change and Forestry, representing His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency Corid Singoi, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Diaspora, Republic of Kenya. My friend David from USID, who really supported us for this event. Distinguished guests, esteemed journalists, and media participants, today's awardee, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great honor and pride that I stand before you today as we celebrate the extraordinary community of storytellers, journalists, filmmakers, and content creators whose work shapes the narratives of our region and beyond. Our first act is most graciously thank the cabinet secretary Honorable Eden Barre Duwale and my brother Korir Singoi and the people of the Republic of Kenya for their warm hospitality and unremitting generosity in hosting us for this very important event. This is the second edition of the IGAD Media Award. Following our inaugural events, held at our headquarters in the Republic of Djibouti, we envision leveraging the power of media to units as by, unite us by rotating these prestigious events annually in the capitals of our member states. The media plays a critical role in supporting IGAD's mission by reflecting the reality of our region. It is highlights not only the challenges we face together, but also more importantly, our remarkable resilience and substantial success in promoting our mandate of peace, security, and regional integration. Tonight, we have indeed come together to celebrate the strength of our media as a force of unity and progress. We gather not only to reward excellence, but also to reflect the power of media in the building resilient societies that inspires hope and further peace across the IGAD region and beyond. The year's theme, Narratives of Hope, towards an inspiring, peaceful, secure, inclusive, future for our region that speaks directly to the role that the media plays in constructing a world we want to live in. This is the world where dialogue trumps over conflict, understanding overcomes division, and inclusion is our collective compass. Conflicts, displacements, polarizations, and climate crisis have highly challenged us across in the region and beyond. But in the process, stories of resilience, solidarity, and courage have been emerged consequently, which is not reported adequately. There are the stories that must be told and told again until they are here. These are the stories to which you our media professionals give voice and amplify for our voiceless, shed light on the dark corners of our societies. In the years since the last media award, IGAD has concentrated on our core function of consolidating peace and security while promoting regional development and integration. We have working, working tirelessly to manage conflicts and assisted our member states in restoring stability through various initiatives. However, however, Your Excellencies, in spite of our achievements, we continue to face numerous peace and security challenges. In addressing this issue, 
we draw inspiration from the philosophy of our finding, founding fathers who established IGAD with the vision of the regional approach to peace, security, and development rooted to cooperation through multilateralism. Their commitment and that of our current IGAD heads of state and government commitment, the unity and solidarity guides our effort to we work together to overcome the obstacles and build a brighter future for our region and for our children. Our collaboration with member states, our communities and partners has been essential in securing a brighter future for our region. The efforts can only thrive in a media landscape that promotes transparency, accountability, and trust. The media operate not only as a mirror of society, but are also the torch barriers of change. As we celebrate tonight's winners, let us recognize that this reward will remind us of our collective duty of nurture the stories that that will heal, unite, and inspire us. Your Excellencies, you craft these stories that collectively uplift the communities and make that notion of peace, security, and development not just dreams, but unachievable realities. Stories told through you remind one that even in the face of adversity, hope is alive. Honorable Cabinet Secretary, dear guests, as a professionals in our respective fields, I take advantage of this opportunity to draw the attention of both the media, fraternity, and us in public policy to be alive to the, cha the changes landscape in which these stories are being told. And I call upon the proactively adjust ourselves accordingly to emerging realities when it comes to media and public information. And also, we have to work hand in hand without scarcity of information. Let me take some example from here. Kenya, uh, in 2023-2024, state media report published by the Media Council of Kenya reveals that traditional media still dominates with 47% of our audiences relies on television as their primary news sources, followed by 31% from radio. Digital media is notably, it is going up. While I anticipate that media consumption patterns may vary across eager member states, we are beginning to see a convergence in preference as our world becomes increasingly interconnected. Similarly, as we experience significant demographic changes with the growing youth audience, growth in digital media consumption has increased significantly. With over half, that is around 52% of young people consuming news from both online news websites and social media platforms, that the platforms that you know. This ties with the increase in the use of smartphones, which 91% of young people using handheld devices to access news, access and other form of information, compared to newspapers and other forms of, of the traditional medias. As we recognize the role of media, houses, journalists, and content creators here today, Your Excellencies, let us applaud the courage and resourcefulness that we have come to distinguish them. At the same time, we have a duty of uh, policymakers and part practitioners to address the challenges that serve as obstacles to media independence. Your Excellencies, at this moment, I would like to express my heartfelt appreciation to my IGAD media team who did this thing, led with dedication by my spokesperson, IGAD spokesperson, Patience Nyangi, and able, capable young communication head Austin Op Opata. Please clap for them. I also wanted to extend a gratitude to our partners at USAID, 
Your unwavering support has been vital to make this thing. Also, I want to thank David, my friend, and his organization. Together, we celebrate profound impact of media on our society and shared commitment to progress. Thank you all for your invaluable contribution. Finally, please allow me to thank your members, the four states both established and emerging across all our IGAD member states and further extend my warmest congratulations to all of tonight's awardees whose workers show us the power of media, a power that transcends barriers, a power that changes societies, a power that fosters peace, and also building on our inaugural media award. Let this be the continuation of our new and more influential stories, inspiring our region to the world, telling the other side of our region. Let us continue to join, highlight the stories that matters the stories that build the future. I thank you very much.